Once our pathologist accepts the sample for testing, the DNA or RNA from the sample is extracted. The sample undergoes a simple enzyme digestion to facilitate the extraction of nucleic acids from the tumor cells. The DNA and RNA is purified and the amount is quantitated by means of a fluorescent assay. This ensures that enough unique molecules have been extracted from the patient's sample to continue with the sequencing process and yield robust, reliable results on the Foundation 1 or Foundation 1 heme assays. During library construction, 50 to 1,000 nanograms of DNA is broken into small fragments in a randomized manner through sonication. This process creates rich, complex, and unique DNA and RNA fragments that are representative of the patient's tumor sample. It is this complexity which drives the depth of coverage during sequencing and increases the chances of capturing relevant alterations during computational analysis. Magnetic beads are added to the sample and the mixture is placed on a magnet which pulls the beads in the bound DNA to the sides of the well so that the reagents and other fragments can be washed away, leaving the relevant DNA behind. At the end of this process, a unique molecular index barcode, consisting of a short base pair sequence, is added to each sample as a molecular identifier. This allows multiple samples to be mixed together later in the process just before sequencing, thus creating a more efficient process and enabling scaling of the operation. Indexed sequencing libraries are then PCR amplified. The next step in the process is hybridization capture, where the cancer-related genes in a patient's sample are identified and separated from the rest of the molecules using DNA bait sets. After an overnight incubation, the pair of magnetic beads are used to capture the bait sets that are attached to the target genes of interest, allowing the rest of the molecules to be washed away. These bait sets act much like actual fishing baits, as specific sets are used to catch specific cancer genes through their complementary nature. As they represent the entire coding region, our sets are able to capture the desired genes from multiple angles, ensuring that all classes of alterations are captured. The process differs from traditional hotspot tests, which use PCR amplicons to target specific regions of the genome. This library construction and hybrid capture enables Foundation 1 to achieve high specificity and sensitivity.